Hey y'all, this is Crystal with Crystal G Plants. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for joining. I'm so glad you're here. So this video, I was supposed to do a setup video, but I decided to combine that with my monthly plan with me, as well as putting in my monthly goals. So I'm gonna do that video as soon as I get my stickers for my monthly plan with me. Hopefully they will come sometime this weekend. And if not, I'll probably do the video sometime next week. So I decided to do a flip through of my very first planner, which goes back from July to December. So this was actually my very first planner that I bought off of Facebook because uh, I, be I belong to a few planner marketplace groups. And you know, since the pandemic started and I've been watching like a lot of planning videos, it kind of inspired me to do some planning, do some organizing to get my priorities in order. And the more I've been doing planning during the last year when the pandemic started, it just made me feel more inspired to, you know, set my goals, be more organized, get more productive. And I've seen like a lot of groups and planners environment planning. And that made, made me want to, you know, get more productive and more more organized, get my goals and priorities in order to have a better life. Because, you know, of course, the pandemic has been so stressful, not just for me, but for everybody. But it made me realize, you know what, it's time to reach for my goals, do something to inspire people to be more, inf to be more inspired, more influenced, to get more organized. So this is where this started, which was planning. So like, as I mentioned before, I um, bought my first planner over on a Facebook marketplace group involving planners. And that's when, I, that's when the planning started for me. And this is actually the cover from the Erin Condren Breast Cancer Awareness Sale or um, collection. And of course, I'm a big believer in breast cancer awareness because my grandmother and my mom's best friend who were both diagnosed with cancer, breast cancer, but they survived. And this made me want to get this cover. And this wasn't the, the planner that came with it. When I bought this planner back in June, it was an uh, old plaid black cover that someone had. And that really didn't fit my style. So I decided to take it, take it off and get a new planner, which came with the, um, I decided to get a new, sorry, I decided, I decided to get a new cover. It was the uh, taffy co colored cover from Erin Condren. And I don't know what I do with it. So it's, I must have misplaced the summer. So anyway, um, I had those covers until um, mid-November, I believe, is when I got this cover and I decided to keep this until the end of the year. So this is the uh, this is my very first planner, like I said, from July to December. And this is actually the monthly parent planner that I got to start my planning. And the more I started planning, had like more things going on, I decided to transition to the horizontal planner. I was supposed, I wanted to get the vertical planner because I've seen a lot of planners, planner women do their planning on vertical layouts. And the time, by the time I bought my horizontal planner, the vertical layout was sold out. So I decided, okay, you know what? I might as well just do horizontal for now. And if that works out for me, then I'll probably start using horizontal from now on. So that's where it all started. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a flip through of my planner of what I've been doing throughout the six months with this planner. So let's see. And I love that Erin Condren had these quotes to get you more motivated, especially with the new year that just started. Of course, happy new year to everyone. So yeah, success, having the courage to become the person you believe we're meant to be. So yeah, definitely love these quotes that Erin Condren put on. So let's see. So this is the um, COVID-19 cleaning list that I uh, got the idea from Pinterest. So hopefully this will help someone to, you know, have a nice clean house, especially with the virus going around because you, you never know when you could have it like on your surfaces, on your counters, anywhere. And of course, you got to have that Lysol. So this is definitely an idea, clean schedule you can do to keep your house clean, especially during this time. And this is the list of my favorite shops. So 
I have been buying shops from Coffee Monsters, Once More With Love, Fox and Cactus. No, actually, no, I have not bought anything from Fox and Cactus yet or Rose Color Days, but I will. And I actually did get some um, stickers from Virgo and Paper. Not yet from the GP Studio, but these three shops I will so I can get um, some new stickers to help me plan those functional stickers or icon stickers before I get some new ones. So the three that I've been getting from was Coffee Monsters, Once More With Love, and Virgo and Paper. And as you can see my little uh, sticker album that you might have seen in my first plan with me video. If you haven't seen it, you can go check that out. And this is the purchase tracker of all my purchases that I've been doing. I started doing like throughout the month. So to keep track of what I've been buying, trying to buy, try not to buy too much, but I can't help it. So yeah. Okay. So like I said, this is where the planning started. I have not gotten any pictures for for any highlights because like I said because it's a pandemic you know lots of things were canceled and that really kind of sucked but that's what I'm gonna start doing let me, let me go back that's what I'm gonna start doing for this layout so I'm thinking about doing this layout to put in favorite highlights I wasn't gonna use, I was gonna do list of planner kits but you know I think I'm gonna do it for the dashboard which is going to be where my goals are going to be. So yeah, I'm going to do the planner, the planner kits for, um, <laughs> I'm going to do the planner kits and off supplies like I've been doing for here. So yeah, so the goals that I have been doing for this sticker and the, um, kit, the monthly kits I've been doing for this sticker. So that's, so I'm going to switch it out to this one and then I'm going to write my monthly reflections for this one. So anyway, yeah, so this is where it started. Like I said, I haven't had any highlights because of COVID-19. Of course, lots of things were canceled and that kind of sucked. So July, this is the sticker kit that I got from the Prairie Planner. I, I get mostly their notes and dashboards from it. So yeah, and I, like I said, I write like my office supplies of what I need to do and my goals. Well, I started doing the no spin the 14 no spend days and weeks. There were times I actually did spend on some days. I mean, to me, you, you can't go wrong with one day that you miss. And this month, this is where I use this month for quotes. Like this was my first one. Refuse to let circumstances make you helpless to not focus on the service circumstances, but to focus on God and trust in God always. So I think this is a good quote to go by. As the new year starts, because like I said, you know, we're still in the pandemic and I can cross my fingers that things will get better. Hopefully we can have a very 2021 year. And this is the kit that I use, the monthly kit I use from Boulder Bond. And what um, highlights I would say did happen? Well, this is my very first planner, so that will be a highlight. And I have wrote like a lot of things that happened this month. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I did work overtime this week. Uh, I really don't want to go there right now. I really don't. It was, yeah, it was, a long, it was a bunch of long hours. But yeah, and see, oh, on July 4th, of course, we didn't have no fireworks. It was my mom's birthday. And what else? Oh, and Sensi Family Reunion. I am a Sensi Consultant. This was actually my very first family reunion. But of course, with COVID-19, it didn't happen. It was supposed to happen in Salt Lake City, Utah. Of course, that was canceled because of COVID-19. So we actually had a virtual, virtual um, Cincy family reunion. And it was really, really awesome. So, of course, if you have any questions about Cincy, I will put my uh, information in the description section. And I found out on the 23rd when Cincy family reunion started, I was an aunt. And guess what? I actually uh, had a niece that was born last month. So I'm really happy about that. Hopefully when this virus dies down, the pandemic is over, I can finally get a chance to meet her. And what else happened? Yeah, so those were just the big highlights that happened in July. So let's go on to this next page. So what I did for the monthly planner, I would write meal plans. So I would write like um, the recipes for dinner and lunch and I would write down like the grocery list of the um, ingredients that I need in case I want to go back and try to cook the um, 
the same uh, the same thing again for another week so definitely going to keep this in mind so let's say if i want to write down what i wrote in my monthly plan and bring it over to my weekly planner i can do that so yeah um my favorite i would probably say shepherd's pie now i started eating shepherd's pie when i was volunteering for a, a homeless women's program and I was like, my God, it was so good. I had to find a shepherd's pie recipe, and this is what I mean, July. It was so good. So definitely going to do that for my weekly plan. I don't know when, but we'll see. And this is my YouTube content. I didn't, I was learning to unlearn. Uh, I was learning to um, do YouTube videos around that time, and I started writing down ideas for it. So this is what I'm doing right now, which is my plan with me review, my flip through, and I actually did my plan with me for December 28th through January 3rd. Of course, you can check that video. And of course, I got ideas to write down more plan with me videos using this page. So yeah, definitely gonna keep using this page to write write down what content I'm gonna use for my channel. And um, I'm also some sometime if I do open a home preschool, hopefully by the summer or fall, I'm gonna do a video about how I use the preschool fundamentals curriculum from Joy Anderson's preschool system. Again, you can check out the link below using the Erin Cotton teacher planner. Now, I will say this, I do not regret buying that teacher planner because it's been twice that I tried to open a home preschool. That didn't happen because of COVID-19. But like, but every every lesson that I wrote down, and I do and I do use it for out school because I'm an out school teacher as well. So whatever I've been doing for um, fall twenty twenty two, summer twenty twenty one, going to use that as a resource for the year after this year. So I don't regret buying it, and I am going to get in their teacher planner when April comes around because that's when the new Erin Cotton teacher planners new ones come out. But yeah, any, anyhow, I do also write notes relating to preschool, like three keys to weather any storm. This was, I was in the 30 day challenge. That was week one. What was my favorite video? Question for the challenge and accomplishments for the week. And I also wrote these notes down because um, there's this program to help you open a child care, pro child care program called Out School. No, not Out School, Wonder School. Of course, I will put the link down below if you're interested. Like build your social media brand to help you get your preschool out there, ideas to post, questions to ask for posting, all that. And the number one reason for your marketing fails, again, that was from the um, preschool system from Joy Anderson. So of course, I want to keep these notes in mind if I wanted to open a home preschool. And again, it's my purchase tracker for August. So I'm still going to do that for my weekly planner. So let's go to August, which was my birthday month. Again, this is the kid from Prairie Planner. And this is when I start doing my vacation savings plan. So again, hopefully when this pandemic is over, I can go to Vegas in August, the week of my birthday. So I, I want to save like money for, for my trip. Hopefully I will go in August. If not, then maybe I'll just save it for the, the, the next year. But like I said, crossing my fingers that this pandemic will end. So anyway, I started doing this vacation savings plan using the, um, there's this chart that, I'm, that I've been using. If I can find it. Hold on a second. I know I got it somewhere. Yeah, if you hear me rustling in the background. Oh God, where is that chart? Okay, found it. Okay, so this is the chart that I've been using. Um, it's called it's called moneychallenge.com. And this is the chart that you can use to, you know, track down your savings and whatnot. So right now, I'm at week 23, which happens tomorrow. And I am actually getting close to my goal. So if you want to use... Um, like a savings goal or anything to help you track down your savings, you can go to moneychallenge.com. You can write down the specific amount you want to save up for, the dates, and you can, oops, sorry about my phone. You can write down the dates 
of when exactly you want to save your money for each week and then you can write down your goals. So this actually has been helpful and right now I'm already I'm getting there with my goal to save money for Vegas. So so whatever I wrote down here, I put it down here for my vacation savings plan. So that's what I've been using. And of course I I accomplished that goal. I started my online preschool. Well I didn't start until September. So that was pushed September. And um my uh goal no my quote for this month was do to others as Jesus would ooh, excuse me. Do to others as Jesus would do to them. And of course I wrote down what kits I'm using for August. And of course I use dry erase markers. There was a little trick that I learned in the video that if you use I'm gonna show you the marker that I'm using. So this is the Expo Low or odor dry erase. So if you write onto your um onto the dry erase covers here, you can easily wipe it off with a tissue. It'll wipe it wipe off easily. And if you see this little residue here, <laughs> but I really don't care. But yeah, that's a little, that's a trick that I learned. So here we are with August, and I actually used the date dots from Erin Condren. So that month was my birthday. Like I said, I could spend my birthday in Vegas. But no, thanks to COVID-19, that was canceled. <laughs> so I just pretty much spent my birthday at home. And let's see. Oh, I actually did my very first plan with me on Instagram. <laughs> that was, I was in the early stages of doing my plan with me videos. And I didn't know how to work the camera. Because it was flipped backwards. But now that I know how to, how to use it. So yeah, that was, that was highlight and what else oh I actually had an online Cincy party it was my biggest one yet someone actually earned about $900 worth it was a $900 Cincy party so I was so happy about that and what else happened this month oh I actually finally got my hair done in this month because I have not had my hair done in six months because of the pandemic it was crazy so Thank God I had my hair done because I was like, okay, I'm not going six months without getting my hair done because I know I will look like a hot mess. <laughs> and that's that. So that was, so yeah, that was pretty much it for this month here. So, and this is my meal plan for um, the month of August. I would say my favorite would have to be Either the enchiladas or the chicken, broccoli, bacon, potato baked. I guess those are two of my favorites for August. And of course, my preschool notes here. Giving strong tours, tips, tricks, and best practices that I got from Wonder School. And of course, I got two blank pages left over. <laughs> so let's go to September. Okay. This is where I made a big mistake. I did not get the kit for the monthly view. I got the kit for the teacher lesson planner view. That was a big oops moment, but I had to improv improvise and as you, as you can see, it wasn't much of a problem. So I just gotta watch out what kits to buy next time for September. So let's see. It was actually the first time I got to visit my family in six months because of the pandemic and you know, I'm, st I'm doing good. You know, staying safe. So of course, people are pretty apprehensive about going out of town and traveling because of the pandemic. So, but my family is about an hour away from me, so there's no problem with that. And my dad's birthday was September 11th. Of course, we all remember what happened on September 11th. Don't want to go there. And let's see what else happened. Yeah, that's pretty much those two highlights. Oh God! Oh, do I need to go there about the rat in the kitchen? No, I pff, actually, yeah, it was a little itty bitty rat that scared the heck out of me. That's all I gotta say. I hate rats; they scare me. That's it. Wait, was it the same? Wait, is that the same rat that was it? Itty bitty mouse or? Yes, it was. Okay, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna tell you that story when I get to October. So let's turn to my meal plan. So let me see. What what do I think was the best meal that I made? Probably the honey garlic shrimp. 
yeah it was a honey garlic shrimp that was so so good it was really good i actually made it with i actually had peanuts with it because you know you got those walnut prawns no that's not the same thing no let me take it back no not the same thing no the honey garlic shrimp was very good i actually had that for lunch so i really really enjoyed it it was actually my first time cooking shrimp with honey and garlic i thought okay hopefully i did a good job and i did so very proud about that and as you can see more preschool notes you know what parents want how to build a business your cousins will love that i got that from wonder school so yeah i'm gonna take like a lot of notes i almost took over the whole section of notes here okay so october and as you can see this little happy planner sticker that i got here so this this is the time i had to work on my youtube channel which i'm doing right now and the kid again is from the prairie planner still still i was in my second no my third week of my um vacation no yes yeah, my second or third week of my vacation savings plan and my quote for this month was faith is to believe what you do not see the reward for this faith is to see what you believe so now we're in october again we're still in the pandemic a lot of people were pretty much apprehensive about going trick-or-treating in groups and everything and I will say this, we did not have anybody come by our house. We didn't even have candy, so it really wasn't a big deal. So, that dirty rat. It scared me. I've had enough of it. I'm like, that's it. I gotta get traps. That was it. And I will get to that of how it actually happened. How I finally got rid of that crazy dirty rat. But let's see, anything that happened this month? Um, oh, you're probably wondering where stuff going off my slippers. I can get very... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm not sure if I believe in ghosts and stuff, because one of my house shoes actually got moved. And I don't know if it was actually a mouse or maybe it was a ghost. I might sound crazy, but I'm not sure what is going on. And this has been happening for like twice a night. And I've been hearing stuff. So I don't really know what's going on. Hopefully, it, hopefully it's not a mouse. Because I have been hearing stuff going on in my room. And I, and I really pray to God it's not a mouse. And speaking of that, that same rat that I've been telling you about, I finally got rid of it. God. <laughs> I just didn't even get close to that rat. So I bought a trap from Target. I was about to get ready to go to bed and I, I heard something in the kitchen. So I went down, there it was. And I, I didn't even want to touch it. I took a couple garbage bags with a broom, got rid of it, put it in the garbage, that's it. No more. So hopefully I don't see another rat. <laughs> oh yeah, and of course that, that dirty rat, again, I actually saw him in the the counter in the kitchen. Ugh, and I was like, that was it. It was time to get rid of it. That was it. So, yeah, that was pretty much it for October and my meal plan for that month. I would say, hmm. Okay, the shrimp I was telling you about. Okay, that was the shrimp. This is the one shrimp with the peanuts. That was so good. And I know I want to make that again. So, I just, I'm a huge fan of one shrimp when I go to Chinese restaurants and stuff. So, and the best part about it is that, you know, it has mayonnaise and it tastes so sweet. And I'm really not a fan of walnuts, but I actually used peanuts with it. It was, it was so good. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this again. I don't know when, but yeah. And this is finding your preschool niche that when I did the, um, this, I think it was the seven day challenge. Yeah, it was the seven day challenge for the preschool system in this program I'm involved with. What do I want? What's my one in the preschool? What topic I could speak on for an hour? You know, I like to be creative because I could do like arts and classes online. And I like to, you know, do like scrapbooking and whatnot. I haven't done that yet. Of course, you'll see that like part of it in my Play With Me videos. And I also like to cook, as you can tell, with my meal plan and baking. And let's see, what do I want to leave as a legacy? What is my calling and purpose in life? What type of preschools do I want to create? And finding my strengths and my ideas for my niche. So that's kind of an idea of what I want to do for my preschool. 
So let's go to November. Um, yeah, all his presents too, because I'm using the budget tracker from Aaron Condren. Of course, you'll see a lot of residue because of the sharp I'm using. So, you know, let's just fold this plant right here. So November, of course, lots of things changed, but I was still working on my YouTube channel. This is the kid again from um, the Prairie Planner. And um, I was still doing my vacation savings plan. Got this cute sticker from the Happy Planner. And this month, this month's, that month's quote was, the Lord is not being slow in doing what he promised. The way some people understand slowness, but God is being patient with you. He just doesn't want you, anyone to be lost. I would say this is another quote anyone can keep in mind. Because like I said, you know, we just started 2021. We're still in the pandemic. But I just hope that you guys will know things will happen for the better. And I do hope that we have a better 2021. Because of course, 2020 was a crazy year. So let's turn to October. Oops, sorry about that. So this, oh, like that's not it. No, November, sorry. <laughs> Where did my mind go? So this is the kit that I use from Simple Planner Designs. And of course, this is time of Thanksgiving. Of course, I know it's kind of different because, you know, you don't have too many people for dinner because you might spread the virus around. And so it was just me and my parents. And of course, that was the month that Biden was elected president. And Harris was elected vice president, the first woman vice president ever. Girl power all the way. And what else happened? Mm. Yeah, that was pretty much it. So yeah, that was pretty much it for um this month. Oh, and wait, did I miss something with the stickers? Oh, so this is actually, let me go back to October. This is actually the, the time I started um joining the Aaron Condren Sticker Club subscription. So you can see a couple of stickers that I got from the Sticker Club. And this sticker and this sticker I got from the from the uh, Sticker Club subscription. So yeah, I just wanted to make my monthly planner stand out with these stickers. I really actually do love those stickers. So if you um, are not in the Sticker Club subscription, you might have to wait until probably April, I believe. Yeah, you probably have to wait till April to sign up. So I signed up like, I signed up in October and that's when I got my stickers here. So definitely use those for my, my weekly planner. And this month for my meal plan, I would say my favorite was the chicken fajita triangles. I was like really nervous about making those because I like bar tortillas. And of course I experimented, I experimented with the flour. Like you can make it sticky. Hopefully this, it'll stick the um, tortillas out and they won't mess up. So was very happy about that. They turned out great. And the the fajita lasagna ring. I got this idea from, I guess it's called Twisted. I think that's the name of the um, site I got this um, recipe from. So that turned out really good. So I'm really happy about that. Hopefully, if I have like um, girls night ends or anything, I can definitely make this for that. So I was really, really proud about that. And of course, I didn't write any notes for this month. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let's go down to the last month of my planner. And I actually did this layering things to Llama Lair. Her name is Cindy. Go check her out. She has got, like, got some really amazing videos about how you do lettering. So, this is December. Last month of 2020. And again, this kit is from the Prairie Planner with this cute little Happy Planner sticker. So things have changed again. So hopefully I plan to open a local preschool in June or in August. Hopefully this year will be better. And this is when I was almost done working with my YouTube channel, which I'm doing now. And I started doing sleep meditations on weeknights with my Alexa app, with my Echo Dot. So that's been working for me. So I'm going to continue to do that so I can get a good night's sleep, be more restful for the next day. So <clears throat> that's been working out for me. And again, this is my vacation savings plan. As I mentioned before, I'm actually getting there with my goals. So it's been working out great. So this is the monthly kit from Boulder Bond. And this is when I this is when um I decided to transition to I'm transitioning to my horizontal plan, which you'll be seeing more of my in my plan me videos here. And let's see. Any anything special happened on this month? And I know I did not spend 
that much. I gotta go back with that one. But um <clears throat> but yeah, I think um oh, of course it's of course it was the Christmas holiday, so I spent that with my parents from let's see, it was Wednesday night till Monday. So of course nothing happened that week because I was pretty much at home. And of course, you'll see these cute little stickers I got from the Aaron Condren Sticker Club subscription. They are so cute, and I love the foil. So, yeah, that was pretty much it for this month. And, again, this is my last meal plan for this planner. So, let me see. I think um, I actually made the honey chicken without the rice noodles. I actually made it with rice. It was actually... um. It actually came out really, really good. And no, it was it was the crispy honey chicken. It was the crispy honey chicken. I was I was very nervous about that because it was frying the chicken twice, but it came out really good. So that would be something I would make again. And yeah. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out for me. And of course with the monthly parent planner, I needed to let me see. I need to write more. So that's when I decided to transition to the horizontal planner. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So <clears throat> if you can see here with the um the other sticker shops, I've been writing like a lot of sticker shops on this page of things I can buy stickers from. And this was my um my nice little vision vision board of what I wanted in my preschool. And let's see what else I can show here. <clears throat> I can show some more stuff here. Oh yeah, my vision board of traveling and like family relationships and what else? And also what makes you smile? Vision board to be a better person with the wash teeth that I got from Erin Condren. And of course, I got plenty of sticker shops that I'm writing from. So yeah, I am a sticker addict. <laughs> and I still got a bunch of notes to write from. So I don't know when I'm writing those notes. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this planner. And I'm very proud to be part of the planner community to get more inspiration and start planning out my weekly plan with me for my other um planner that I got right now. So that's pretty much it. So hopefully the next video, um, I can get my stickers in time probably this weekend and I can do a setup and as, as well as doing, writing my monthly goals and also doing my monthly plan with me. So that will be all in one video. So thank you so much for watching, um, this video. Um, let me know in the comments, what was, what monthly spread did you like the best and what are your plans for the new year? And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel and get notifications. And I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Please be safe out there. Let's hope for a better 2021 year. And I will guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.